Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You can check out our merch store if you're interested in any of that. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is April 4th, 2024. It's a beautiful day out. I'll turn you around here. You can see our snow is really going down. It's like 46 degrees right now. A little bit of a breeze, but not too bad. Um, but really some nice weather. There's supposed to be some rain coming, I think, again here starting Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. So that'll be nice up and getting up into the 50s. So definitely spring is pushing its way in, so that'll be good. Hopefully we'll be getting into the fields again here pretty soon. But uh, been getting some stuff done around the yard here. We got some cattle vaccinated the other day. Um, I was going to get video of that, but we were kind of in a hurry to get done before I had to go back to the bus route. So... We didn't get any video, but we've got some more to do, so we'll probably have some more of that coming up too. But what I'm working on right now, so with this snow melting, um, it's made some areas kind of muddy. So this corral, where we had the cattle we were working, we brought them into this corral so we could run them into the loading chute. And uh, so up here, it's muddy on the top, but you go down three, four inches and it's pretty hard ground up here but down in the bottom end everything kind of runs down through there and it's pretty deep down in there and kind of nasty with all the cattle we had in here it got all turned up and and it's kind of a soup hole so when i let the cows out of the barn to go out on pasture they have to come out the back corner of the barn through the corral to get out to the pasture and they always want to follow that edge well it goes right through that deep spot so I've got these panels out here we used to make a pen the other day when we were working cattle. So I'm going to get in here with the skid steer and see if I can kind of set these up to get the cattle to come over here and then out instead of walking through there. So I'm going to set you guys up here somewhere and you can watch me get stuck. Well there, I think that'll work pretty good. It's not, it's greasy up there, but it's not very deep. It's a hard, hard bottom there. So it was just kind of slipping. I'd like to get some tracks for that machine, 
but I don't know I was doing a little bit of research on it and I seen some people say that those machines the axles weren't really heavy enough for tracks that um, they might get you into some trouble so I don't know I've never used tracks on anything before but um, so I don't know a lot about them but leave something in the comments below if you got one of these machines if you run tracks on it it's a 4625 gale um, and how they work for you if you got them or not but anyway so that'll be nice that'll keep the cattle out of here they can go up around where it's a little higher drier um, till this dries out I'm hoping this summer if it dries up in here some to get this all cleaned out again and get some sand hauled back in here because it's been it's been quite a few years since that's been done um, we got in here uh, probably three four years ago and kind of pushed up a pile here so there's kind of a nice high ground here if cattle are in here for any amount of time so they can get up and have a good spot to lay but I want to get this all cleaned out again down to down to the regular ground here and then haul some sand back in try to maybe get a little grass established in here even to, uh, to act as a filter and to keep it from getting torn up so bad so now I'll get these gates opened up so the cattle can go through here again and then the silo by the barn is getting just about empty so then the dairy the milking cows will be getting silage out of the bag along with the dry cows and heifers so I want to get them started on that hopefully today get some out in the wagon out here and I think what I'm going to do because they've been getting corn silage in the barn at night when they stay in the barn but I think I'm going to the weather's nice enough now they'll get corn silage outside during the day in the feeder wagon and if they're in the barn at night yet they'll just get hay overnight this corn silage that we chopped last year it's a little bit leafier <clears> they're <throat> longer leaves so uh be nicer to have that outside you don't have so much mess with that in the barn either but uh, i want to get them started on that before the silos empty so they kind of get used to some different silage plus we got to open up another bag so i got to get that done today too because i finished off the one we were feeding out of last night so i'm gonna get the skid steer out of here and then we'll go maybe see about getting that bag opened up smells good wish I had some smell of vision for you guys well I'll, I got the silage fork I'll pitch a bucket full here and then we'll go out and get the feeder wagon so for the dry cows now but they got that empty and we'll put some in there and then we can get the cows out let them try it out
Well, that worked pretty well. Kept them out of the really deep mud and manure and stuff in the corral there. So they were able to get back out here. They haven't been out for a few days just because we've had that corral kind of messed up when we were working those other cattle. And it's been colder and windier and stuff. Not the nicest anyway. But uh, got that wagon up there on the hill now, so dry as spot as I could get. Get them used to that new silage. That stuff really really looks nice in the bag I haven't uh, had that tested yet but uh, I imagine I'll be sending in a test on it change the gates up I'll take you in the barn and show you how that the silo <coughs> is getting empty kind of what that looks like so here we are in the silo um, we're getting down in the I guess we call it the pit kind of you can kind of see it's getting a little dark around the outside edges there's maybe another feeding or two in here. And then that'll be that'll be pretty much empty. Now this silo is um, 12 foot diameter and it's built into the hill. The barn's built into a hill and the silo is just attached to the barn there. So um, from above the ground, so the part that's up on top of the hill, the stave part is 40 feet tall. And then in the ground, so from the ground level to the barn floor is about 10 feet. And it actually goes down below the barn floor, I want to say four or five feet. But um, I don't remember. It's been a long time since we've emptied it that low. We kind of quit doing that because the unloader wouldn't run down there because it was so wet. So you had to fork it all out of there and it was wet and heavy and very acidic feed and it was just a pain and then in the fall when you'd fill it you had to pump all the water out of there because you'd get a few feet of water that would run in there so <clears throat> one year we filled it up with haylage and then grandpa just never <clears throat> we just left it at the barn floor level so anyway <clears throat> so it's a 12 12 by 50 the part that's in the hill that's all poured and that's i think probably was poured when the barn was built the stave part that's above ground um, that was added there there was a silo there originally and it, the block deteriorated so my grandpa had put a new one on in the early 1990s so uh, that part's fairly new but um, <clears throat> anyway so that kind of shows you explains a little bit on this silo and the dimensions and stuff and kind of what it looks like but this one is about wrapped up for the year day or two I think it'll be empty so anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I don't think it wound up being too long, but um, got a couple little things done that needed to be done. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.